Well, good morning. Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Maybe some of you are new to the channel coming over from Jay's video. It's very possible. But yes, like the title has said, welcome to Jay vs. Clay. So what is Jay vs. Clay? It is a one vs. one fishing tournament. Today, it's walleye. How do I look? I look good, yes. We have chosen walleye. We've each picked a lake in our own province for this time. It could change in the future if it continues, who knows. Or lakes for that matter. I don't know what Jay's plan is. But it's a one versus one walleye competition where we will have some check-in periods. 10 hours on the water, your top five biggest fish. My starting time is at nine o'clock. His starting time is at 10 o'clock, which will be the same time frame for that, or the same time zones in that sense. It'll all line up and we'll have check-in periods. Mine will be at 11 o'clock, one o'clock, and three o'clock. And then the last four hours, we'll fish blind, not knowing what anybody caught. As you can see, the LumaCraft is in the water. We're ready to jump in. I'm a little bit early right now, about an hour until fishing time, but I'm gonna do some scouting, some looking around, etc., etc. But the fishing time, I can't drop my hook until nine o'clock kind of excited kind of even a little bit nervous for some reason competitions are always fun i think that's like part of these video series is to just bring you a look more into the competitive side of fishing but it's been a two minute intro super long i need to get in the boat and do some scouting and we'll see what we can find it's nine o'clock that means we can drop. I'm sending a good luck text to Jay. Here we go. I'll talk more as the day goes. As you can see, it's like really calm right now, which is a little bit different from my pre-fishing, that's for sure. The pre-fishing was pretty rough, not just fishing-wise, but weather-wise. I'll roll a few clips right now. Yeah, as you can see, up and down and up and down i tried everything i rigged i jigged i wrapped I caught one walleye it was slow so there's no video from that we have some water in the live well in case we pop a monster and we are ready to go i'll be a little bit more quiet there's a boat on either side of me right now my main goal right now i think is to try to put five fish in the live well i'm going to do a pretty boring method, which is rigging. So I have a little weight on there with a little snell, a little snell hook, and I'm basically just pulling a leech along a sand point here really, really slow. And the goal will be to try to put some fish in the well first, or on the board, I guess not really in the live well, we are releasing them. And then maybe try to sharpshoot a bigger fish at some point. Five fish is definitely my goal. It's been a struggle for me. I know Jay's had one decent day yesterday, but he even hasn't put five fish in the boat in any of his pre-fishing days. So five fish is going to be the start for sure because a 10 incher could come into play at the end of the day. You never know. So that will be the, the start here. Like I said, a little bit of rigging, a little bit of boring fishing. And then uh, we'll bounce around a little bit. I'd like a little bit more of a wind right now, like just a slight chop, but I'm not going to complain with this after what I had yesterday. That's for sure. It's funny because Jay's probably in this pristine setting. Nice trees, rocks, and I'm in like cabin central. Probably see piles of boats today because it's so nice out. And the May Long was so brutally windy out. It's all good in the hood though. All good. Yeah, spot one. Not so hot, not marking a lot of fish. I'm going to make a little bit of a move here. A little bit of a move. Okay, 
Next spot, nice boat just gave me a wake. So, of course, sat right in front of me. That's the way it goes. It's all good in the hood. It's all good in the hood. Oh, I just had a slight pickup. Oh, it, it must have, he didn't come at me. Oh, that's insane. Oh, it's a little guy. Oh, Clayton, you should have netted him. Don't, don't boat flip a tournament fish. Wasn't really thinking. Well, it's not much, but we're on the board. We are on the board. Probably can keep this open and turned here. It's not much. What do we have here? Okay, we're on the board. It's tiny, but I'm on the board. 14 and a half inches. Better than nothing. At least I have something to report 42 minutes in. Okay, let's get back out there. That happened quick at the second spot though, at least. Yeah. Oh. This one feels a little bit better. Not, not that big but better than the first one. I know I'm on the wrong side of the camera here, but it's gonna have to be, it's gonna have to be, at least I got the GoPro up there. What do we have here? It's not very big. Little guy. Uh, maybe it's not bigger than the first one. Ah! Taking a chance by boat flipping him, that's for sure. Okay, well. I said I want to catch five fish first and then really focus on whatever else, right? So I'm on, I'm on my way there. Let's take a... Okay, fish two is 14 inches. Small, I know. Okay, that's all I have for a Lindy rig is just literally a hook and a leech. Bite's been, I feel like the bite's been so tough that that's probably one of my best ways to catch them right now. I'm at, I'm at 28 and a half inches. It's going to be bad when Jay catches one fish right now and takes both of those out. But I got to catch five fish. Five fish. Got to catch five fish. And I can really work on some bigger ones. Okay, let's just keep rigging along. Put my score in here. I have to report in an hour and five minutes. Oh, I wonder what Jay's at. <laughs> this is fun. This is like lots of fun. Like you're, you're fishing, but you have like a goal for the day, right? Like little competitions, like with nothing major on the line. It's just like a little competition between your friends is always good. It's always good. Yeah, quick move. Don't know where or what yet. Sitting at two fish. Sitting at two fish. Stays nice. Take my pants off. Still got shorts on. But yeah, I take my pants off. Boats moving around. Lots of boats out. Where to do. Where to go. What to do. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Said brown cow. Well, I have to send my update to Jay. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of running pretty far, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And then fishing my way back. I don't know. It's just a tough bite right now. So tough. Any boat I see too, like nobody's catching fish. Don't know what to do. Well, it's probably almost. I'm gonna send it. I might get it a 30 seconds early, but all good. Definitely curious to see what he's at. Better text it too, just in case the picture doesn't work. 14 and a half. 14. 
on my top two. Update from Jay. Let's watch it together. Checking in. End of period one. 12 o'clock. You're not going to believe this, Clayton. You're not going to believe this! Look at that bump board right there. It, uh, it hasn't been opened. We got zero inches. Got a nice white fish, a nice pike, and a real nice bass. That's what we're dealing with so far. He says it's... That's it. He sent me messages here too. I've just been bass fishing. It's all about the evening bite. He's talking a big game. Okay. I think with that note, with him checking in with zero, I'm making a big run. I'm going 20 minutes right now. If he had scored, I think I was going to fish some confidence areas. But I'm going to, I'm going literally like 25 miles down the lake. I want to try to find some breeze, hopefully, too. And yeah. Wow. Okay, that's that's a game changer. That changed everything. My two fish are huge right now. Two 14 inch fish feel like monsters. First two hour period, done. Let's go north, baby. Let's go north. Okay, music on. Let's go. That took longer than I expected. The drive took <laughs> a full hour. Made a few stops along the way. But uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm at the Mecca. Was well, what I'm hoping to be the Mecca anyway. So bad news for you, Jay. I found some breeze. I'm gonna find the fish. Well, Jay, good news for you. I blanked this period. Bad news for you, I spent half of it driving to a new location. So you're gonna get kicked this next period. Big things coming. I can feel it. Big things coming. Hope you're doing good though. Miss ya. Oh, well, it's one o'clock. I just sent Jay my update. That was a really fast two hours. Like, like really fast two hours. Let's see, his update should be coming in here too. Here's Jay's thing. Uh oh. All I got from him was zero mad angry in capital letters. Oh, Jay. Maybe, uh, maybe start fishing and get out of bed. We'll see if that helps. We're end of period three, I guess. Jay has still yet to catch a fish. Whoa, how am I still in this right now? There's no way I should be in this. Like he should be all over me. He is gonna need, that means he's gonna need a big last four hours to beat me because I'm gonna catch a monster yet. It's safe to say if, if I can score, I just need three fish. Like that's my goal right now is to catch three fish. But I'm just like in that dilemma right now, rigging is so boring. I'm so done with rigging you guys. Like I'm so done with it. I've got a jig on right now and a leech. I'm gonna to try to mark and sharpshoot a little bit. As you can see, the wind has been picking up nice, which should play in my favor, hopefully. It's been a very, very frustrating day so far. Some would say it's kind of like a grind. I'm just gonna to try to work some contours here and see if uh, I can mark something and drop down. Maybe I'll work some sand points yet. I don't know. I, I'm struggling. I just need fish at this point. Like, and who knows what Jay's gonna do? Like, is he gonna make a run and just try to go get some action because he knows that I'm not scoring? Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I know I need to catch five fish. So I need to catch three more. Small update. Wish it was a fish update. 5.30, we've got an hour and a half left. 
I have no idea what's gone on for Jay for a while. I don't have any new fish. So disheartening. Like, I, it's a struggle right now. It's not even just like today, it's just been in general, like, just haven't put anything together yet this year for open water. Hopefully at some point it happens. Yeah, that's my story. Fishing sometimes can be tough. Okay, a lot of times it can be tough. Not quitting though, not quitting. I'm on a struggle bus right now. Like, and I don't know when it's gonna slow down. Hopefully soon. Of course it's gonna slow down soon. It's all good. The whole competition thing though, this, this is a pile of fun. Like you have, right now, I think if I wasn't having a competition with Jay, I'd probably pack it in. I probably would be like, mm, I've had enough today. I have drove around for, I don't know, I don't even know, I bet you I drove two, two hours say maybe two and a half hours. I'm impressed how much uh, fuel these Alumacrafts can hold, that's for sure. Because I have driven around like crazy. I've tried shallow, I've tried some steeper brakes, I've tried rigging, I cranked for a while. I'm jigging lots, bouncing jigs, trying to drop on top of fish. I just... I don't know it's such a big lake you know somebody on the lake is scoring so every tournament always goes right like no matter what somebody's catching fish somewhere it just wasn't me right now but i gotta get on fish again i'm not marking any right now i gotta get on fish well as you can see <laughs> my next update is off the water I never caught any more fish. I struggled today, like, big time. Now keep in mind, I don't know what Jay did either in the last four hours. He could have easily skunked out or he could put a bunch in. I know he was on a body of water that he said had a really good average. So he's gonna need at least two fish probably or one 29 incher. So it gives me a little bit of confidence in that sense of winning, but it's really not even about the whole winning thing honestly it's just about the whole competition between me and jay it's just fun it's a fun thing but i really want to apologize for the lack of the fishing in the video today it's really hard to show a lot of the fishing when you don't catch any fish if that makes sense but you can only show much show so much not catching fish before it gets repetitive and boring what I would like to do though is talk about like a recap of my day a little bit. I think I made some huge choice or huge mistakes in some of the choices I made. I ran around way too much. I literally drove from one end of the lake to the other end, almost the other end, and all the way back to the other end again. I wasted too much time driving around today instead of just really sitting on a spot and grinding it out. Rigging for walleye is one of the most boring methods for sure. I couldn't get any success with a jig though yesterday and a little bit I tried today. So yeah, so that's where it is. I'm excited to see what Jay does. So if you watch my video first, there will be a link right here, a box that will take you to Jay's video to watch his his day and how it came out and we'll see if we won or he won. But if you wanna see more J versus Clay in the future, make sure you leave it in the comments below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, get outside.